and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we're doing a lineup update. I picked up quite a few things. I spent quite a few coins, guys. And honestly, I made one pickup that was kind of impulsive. It was highly impulsive, but I'm telling you guys why when I get to it. As you can see, the coins are really down. I made a lot of pickups. Really excited to do this lineup update. I made a lot of updates since the last one. I think we, we made a lot of chem boost, a lot of chemistry for the team. We reworked a lot of things. I got really nice looking team right now. Obviously, it's not up to the standards of like the biggest god squad you guys have probably seen, but it's definitely one of the better teams you're gonna see. And by okay, it's probably a broad statement. It's it's a good team. It's not the best team. 93 is a good overall. We've obviously seen 95, so there's a lot of better teams than me. But I hold my own. And I'm using it in a weekend league right now because the issue is it sucks when you're changing up your team here and there while trying to do a weekend league run because you're testing out so many new pieces you're not used to it yet. So I took a lot of losses this week trying to test out the team, but I'm feeling like this could be the team I go into. But it does suck because it was double XP weekend. Oh, not double XP weekend. Double reward weekend for weekend league. So I kind of want to take advantage of it. But it is what it is, guys. But as you guys know, this is the 25 days of poop miss. All you got to do to enter this, as per usual, is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below the secret word and your console. And guys, as you do know, I did not announce the winners for the last two days. I will be announcing it sometime today on the community tab on YouTube. So check out that and see if you win. If you did, hit me up on Twitter. The usual routine. Now let's head on over to the team and show you guys all the new pieces we got. All right, so our quarterback, we have Mahomes and Lamar Jackson. Now, obviously I'm starting Lamar Jackson. And that's only because I can't sell Mahomes yet until I know what I want to do. Now, I think I'm going to keep Lamar. Because I was thinking about it. The thing with the thing when you compare these two, right? Obviously he's powered up, but Lamar hits all the thresholds pretty much besides the medium. Once I get the right cams on him, he's gonna hit all the thresholds besides medium. And he can't get dashing dead eye. Those are the only two differences between these two cards. Dashing dead eye and the medium accuracy threshold. Other than that, Lamar has the speed. And guys, the next two cards these guys get, right? Let's say if Pat Mahomes is a 98 overall card and Lamar is a 98 overall card, Lamar is going to be the best card in the game. At 98 overall, he's gonna have almost 99 speed. All the passing thresholds, high throw power, and he's gonna get dashing dead eye, and maybe even human joystick or a jukebox, any of that stuff. So, for that reason alone, I think Lamar Jackson gonna be the glitchiest card in Madden history, or one of the glitchiest cards in Madden history. His next card. So, Pat Mahomes great right now, but I think Lamar is definitely the keeper long term, because he's like the Vic every year. You gotta have the Vic on your team. That's it for the quarterback. Let's get over to the running back, where is one of my compulsive buys I just made. Amon Green, 95. Now, I think Amon Green might be top two running back in Madden right now even over I think tied with Eric Dickerson the only difference between him and Eric Dickerson is that Eric Dickerson starts the game with NFL 100 freight train activated but look at these stats so he got 95 speed 96 excel 93 agility 93 carry 77 catching which is really good catching for a running back 89 elusiveness 94 truck and 94 break tackle so he's just powered up obviously Barry doesn't have a shaker on him here you can't it doesn't show Madden when you do that him and Barry have the same speed He's got three less Excel than Barry when Barry has his cams activated. And the only difference between them pretty much for me is that the acceleration, he loses that, but he has way better carrying, which is huge because Barry's carrying sucks. He fumbles a lot. Amon Green has better carrying, way better truck, and way better strength. 83 versus 73. And the best part about Amon Green, in my opinion, is that he gets Bruiser, Freight Train, Jukebox, and inside zone guru he gets a power back enemy a power back ability and a evasive back ability which i think is huge i think i'm, I'm trying him out this weekend see how i like him if, I, if he's a keeper i'm keeping him but if not i'm just telling him staying with barry haven't decided yet we're gonna skip over fullback guys we still have Corey Schlesinger. no moves have made that now wide receiver is when we're having another have another issue so i've had tory holt i've had michael Irvin, i've had tyree kill but i just added randy moss now oh, guys this card's insane he's faster than tyree kill well, same speed as tyree kill 95 catch, 92 catch traps, 98 spec catch, 98 deep route running, 90 medium route running, 91 short route running. He's one of the best route runners in the game. One of the best catchings, in, one of the best catch in the game. One of the tallest wide receivers in the game. One of the fastest cards in the game. He's one of the greatest of everything. Put that all on every card is either one of the greatest fast guys, one of the greatest catching, one of the greatest route runners. The beauty of Randy Moss is he has it all in one card. You had to go with him. Now my issue, guys, look, comment down below. Should I be, should I get rid of Tyreek Hill or Michael Irvin? The issue is Tyreek Hill is just Randy Moss that can't catch, can't route run, and is uh, smaller. So all that's pretty much what he is. Randy Moss is the same speed. Now, should I get rid of Tyreek Hill? 
I don't know. I need the return man still. I can't decide. Someone just comment down below what you think on that uh, that whole thing. Now, I did pick up Tony Gonzalez, another new pickup, and Jared Cook, but he was just from the gauntlet. Now, Tony Gonzalez, guys, glitchy. I'm telling you, you might not think that a tight end. No, no. 89 speed to tight end. I had Kittle there. I thought he was great. 89 speed to tight end with that route running is a ridiculous combo so tight ends typically match up on like outside linebackers and stuff so the beauty of it for me is that he does like he does that little out route like that little uh, flag route he, i always run flag routes with him he does it when he does his route running is so good that he actually gets the cornerback or like the outside linebackers like freeze for a second and in that moment i throw it to him with right away and i'm telling you tony gonzalez can turn right up field he's too he's fast now he's fast for great route running so it trust me it's, it's so beneficial and his catching tony gonzalez best tight end in the game you guys got to pick him up I'm gonna go fast left uh, to the line. I don't, I don't have any new pickups here. Anthony Munoz, Bruce Matthews, Travis Frederick, David DeCastro. I have these all memorized. I've said this so many times. David DeCastro right there. And then I got a right tackle. I did pick up Lane Johnson. Your word for today is gingerbread. Comment down below, gingerbread. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment your comments. I want you to do all those things you're interested to win. Good luck. You guys probably knew that already. Line's not too great. I, got, I mean, it's solid, but I gotta definitely upgrade to all the new NFL 100 guys. Now let's get into the defense. Left then we got Bosa. You guys probably saw I picked him up already. He's pretty good. I just got him for the finesse because I like the I like the um, the great pass rush ability that he got out there. But I haven't really noticed him too much. I definitely want to pick up Reggie White. But for the NFL 100 card, I'm somewhere between Reggie White, Ronnie Lauder, LT. I definitely want Ronnie Lauder, LT, and I definitely want Reggie White. So I really don't know who I'll end up taking for free there. Going to be tough. Now right end, we got Aaron Donald. You guys probably saw him on Black Friday. I picked up his uh, his Redux card, tossed him in there. Great right end. Can do pretty much everything well. Not the best right now. I mean, Bruce Smith's definitely better, but I don't really want to trade up Aaron Donald. who's going to get tons of cards for Bruce Smith, who might not get as many. At defensive tackle, I have Ed Oliver Jr. I did use him as a gauntlet upgrade card. He's kind of just well-rounded. He has decent block shed, decent athleticism. He I just tossed him in there for the overall boost. And then we got Michael Pierce here, who's actually been pretty solid. I've had him all year. Not horrible at all. Decent defensive tackle. Now, let's get over to outside linebacker. We still got Von Miller, guys. This is the problem. I got to get rid of this Von Miller. It's like I'm attached or something. I don't know. I, there's been no good left outside linebacker options for me. Bobby Bell was decent, but I don't want to go all in on these NFL 100 cards because then when we get better cards, we're going to be stuck with all this old wave of NFL 100s. That's a funny looking picture right there. Now, coming over to middle linebacker, we actually did make a switch. Ray Lewis is gone. One of my favorite players of all time. Had to, had to get rid of him. It just made sense. Devin Bush was better for me. See, Ray Lewis, you stack him up. Devin Bush was faster. Better excel. Better zone. Better hit power. 20 plus jumping it was just a no-brainer for a user guy for me he's insane i've gotten like seven user picks already with him in just seven games like i'm just getting user pick after user pick after user pick his turnaround ability his bait ability just awesome i love devin bush and now i can leave shazier in a zone just rocking out and doing his thing because i don't have to worry about him because i can use your devin bush it's a lot better for me the right of linebackers are lawrence taylor i'm not gonna speak much here definitely have to upgrade lawrence taylor at some point guys his next card his new card is a monster but the thing is that i can't go for him yet i don't i don't got the funds Definitely gotta wait on that front. And now cornerback, we got we picked up we picked the prime time, the good prime time. We've had we've had Nitro Lane, insane card obviously, great. He's been great for me. We've had Denzel Ward, but Deion Sanders, guys, this card is different. 97 speed, 98 excel, 97 agility, unreal. 91 jumping, great. 92 play right, 93 play right, 97 man, 94 zone, 82 press. Cards, are, this card's ridiculous. The press isn't great, but. That man coverage with that speed with that acceleration and then i put universal coverage on him yeah deon sanders you gotta have abilities on him i love my deon now free safety we need an upgrade now brian dawkins still gets the job done not gonna lie but i de and that's, that's that's the thing right if brian dawkins gets the job done, imagine ronnie lot you add like four speed on him you add some hit power you add some zone you add some man you add some pursuit play rectangle. tackle Ronnie Lott's gonna be a monster but brian dawkins definitely gets the job done. still 93 overall so he's not really that far behind good height decent guy gets a lot of picks from me honestly and a strong safety, we got Pat Tillman. Hopefully he gets upgraded soon because people are gonna be catching up to him pretty soon. I want that, remember back when we first got Pat Tillman, he was overpowered, he felt different on the field. Now everyone's matching up with him. But he's still great, great zone, great hit power, great speed, great pursuit, great play record, great tackle. Overall, a great card. And then at kicker, we do have Justin Tucker still. Now I did kinda wanna pick up the, um, the Lutz because he does have crazy speed, but is it not crazy? I say crazy speed. Will Lutz, I want to pick him up for because he had crazy kick power. But for the time being, we already had Tucker, and I don't really want to upgrade that much more. I don't want to waste all my coins on kicker right now. Tucker gets the job done. I do know how to put focus kicker on him. Definitely helps a lot. I have missed quite a few kicks, and I definitely need focus kicker. But I always, so I always forget to, or I never have the training whenever I think about it. And then we still got Treyway, and I'm keeping JK Scott because he high fived me at that Packers game the other day. So he gets to stay on the team for now. Although Treyway's got the starting spot. Now let's go over to the team, show you guys the full look of it. And you guys can pretty much see what I need to upgrade here. As a full look team, the O-line needs some help. 
Not gonna lie. We definitely gotta fix up the left side. The right side's looking pretty strong still. The left side's kind of weak. We're gonna have to pick up the new Munoz, probably the new Bruce Matthews. Now everything else looks solid. My wide receivers, my running backs, great. This whole my whole backfield plus my tight end, solid. My line could use some help and then defensively, we're falling behind a little bit. We need a left outside linebacker. We need a new free safety. We need and then we need to fix up our line a little bit. Once we get all that done, teams gonna be looking great, but I do definitely need more coins. A little broke right now, but guys, it's all good. It's gonna be great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button. Come join the 25 Days of Poopness. Like the video to enter. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below the secret word. And comment your console. Once you join the you're entered to win. Good luck. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to check out the other two videos I posted today. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.